I'm interested in how thin objects deform. So you take a piece of paper which is naturally flat. It's very easy to bend it, but it's very difficult to stretch. And there's a really nice piece of mathematics that says that for something that cannot stretch, you cannot change its curvature. So while you can curve a flat piece of paper into a cylinder, if you try to turn it into a sphere by squashing it onto something spherical, you end up making lots of um, creases and folds. That's interesting for objects that are doubly curved as well, because even though a sphere is curved in two directions, if I take a section of a ball, I can turn it inside out and it will stay happily in that inverted configuration. And that's the basis for a toy called Poppets, which basically has lots of spherical caps that you can kind of push through from one side and will stay popped until you push them through on the other side. Now the story I've told you so far is just about things that are very, very thin. And it turns out that if I increase the thickness of my sphere, then when I turn it inside out, what happens instead is that it's not happy being turned inside out. So after a short interval, it jumps up like that. And that's the basis of toys such as the hopper popper, which again is just a section of a sphere that you turn inside out and then let jump off the, fit off the table. Or this dropper popper, where if I drop it from sufficiently high, you'll see that it jumps up off the table. Thank you.